Well, sure has been nice uh, to enjoy spring break up at Hilltop. Uh, you can see those lifts were running at 9 a.m. up and going with the sun, and it looks like it's been pretty busy up there today. We had some fresh snow, of course, earlier this week, uh, and today just seeing mild conditions back into those mid-30s this afternoon, uh, and what a fun treat, an opportunity we have here uh, in Anchorage to be able to do that. I think they're open until about 8 o'clock tonight. High temperature today, 36 degrees. Again, that's a little bit above normal for this time of year but it is normal uh, for us to reach that freezing mark. As we move here through the middle part uh, of March, we more often will see those temperatures pushing above freezing during the day. But it's also still very normal for us to be into the teens overnight. This morning, not quite there. We uh, only dropped to 22. Seeing high temperatures warming, though, to the low to mid 40s in the valley. Check out Tokitna, 45 degrees for your high temperature there today. We saw mid 40s in Cordova, 40 in Sewer. That was as snow. Snow came down earlier today, heavy snow, again up through Turnigan Pass into Whittier and Portage Valley. Uh, but with those warming temperatures and that snowfall starting to taper off, uh, we're actually seeing pretty decent road conditions, especially considering how much snow we saw there earlier today. For the north, just single digits for McGrath, Fairbanks, and well below zero when you get to the slope. 29 below for the high temperature today in Dead Horse. Kotzebue topping out at 8 below. Nome at 1 below so far. Bethel also seeing high temperatures below zero today. And again, looking at those snowfall reports here uh, from the Anchorage Upper Hillside through Girdwood to Whittier, and then all the way down into Homer, seeing 4 to 20 inches of snow. Again, heaviest, though, was near Whittier, reporting 20 inches as of this morning. And it was still come down pretty hard even at noon. We saw up to about eight inches reported today there in Homer. Light snow showers will continue for the coastal areas of South Central. No more advisories or warnings in effect, though. We do, however, still have wind chill advisories in effect for much of the West Coast. Again, wind chill values here between 45 and 55 below zero, especially as you head here to the end of Norton Sound and then also through Dalton Highway uh, up over the Brooks Range summits. Down into Southeast, another Another storm is on the way, prompting a winter storm watch for Wednesday night into Thursday. That's for the Haines and Klondike Highways. Six to nine inches of snow there starting tomorrow. Again, that next storm system will push in here out of the Gulf. It'll move right up into southeast as we head into uh, tomorrow afternoon. Snow for those higher elevations, but it'll be heavy rain as you head into the lower elevations. Again, most of tomorrow continuing into Thursday as well. Be ready for it. High temperatures will get back into the low 40s, breezy winds from Sitka up into Yakutat. Now across the interior, pretty quiet. Uh, still well below zero tonight in Fairbanks and in for Yukon. We'll see teens and 20s, though, there tomorrow. Partly sunny skies for you. Through the Brooks Range, again, watch out for that extreme wind chill. We'll see that all the way up to the slope. Some blowing snow and light snow near Dead Horse. And just the air temperature, not even including the wind chill, still dropping to about 39 below zero tonight uh, in Dead Horse. So again, be ready for the cold sticking around. Still seeing those chilly conditions out west. Nome dropping to 12 below tonight with a high temperature of three above, mostly sunny for you. Winds will pick up a bit again as you head further north, further inland. You know, Laclede seeing gusts to about 15 miles per hour. Further south, seeing those breezy winds, high temperatures to one in Gamble, three in Bethel. We will see mostly cloudy, but otherwise quiet conditions here through the Aleutians, teens and 20s for most of you. And across the Kenai Peninsula again, just some light snow out near Seward and across Prince William Sound. Temperatures there in the mid-30s, low 30s to the north. For Anchorage, we'll see mid-30s, teens, and 20s overnight. Uh, we'll see high temperature of 36 degrees in Anchorage. Again, that light snow near Girdwood. And looking ahead, we cool down a bit, but then we warm right back up, and we see chances for snow back Mike Friday, and then off and on into early next week. I would say it's a hint of spring, but I know better. Just, just Those a hint. Those temperatures. Okay, all right, thanks. Yeah.